Suno just dropped the studio version 1.1 update. And honestly, this changes everything. We're no longer just generating music. We're now producing music directly inside the browser. In this video, I'm going to walk you through every single new feature, step by step, so you can start using them right away. The first and biggest upgrade is the brand new 6-band EQ. For this example, let's create a bass song from scratch. Something with a diverse mix so we can really hear the changes. That sounds good. Now let's get this into the Suno Studio. Now look at the right hand panel. This used to be one simple menu, but now it's split into two tabs, clip settings and track settings. On clip settings, we have the usual tunings like tempo, transpose, volume, speed, and the option to extract stems. And on track settings, here we have a professional visual equalizer with six fully movable frequency bands. If you're not familiar with mixing, you can also use presets. Just click here and open the drop down. There are many presets such as vocal, bass boost, air, clarity that you can use on your song. For example, let's try out the lo fi preset. The bass of our original song has been massively reduced, while the vocals are slightly sharper. Our original track was pure reggae, but this preset has instantly shifted it into a lo-fi vibe. But the real power is manual control. You can tweak the bands to get the exact sound you're looking for. For example, if your vocals sound muddy, grab band 1 on the far left and drag it down. This cuts low frequencies and instantly cleans up the mud. If your vocals need more air, grab band 6 on the far right and raise it slightly. This adds brightness and clarity. You can adjust frequency, gain, and cue width, giving you genuine mix engineer control over every stem. This is huge, because raw AI generations often sound cluttered or flat, and now you can shape them like a real producer. Now let's move into the second big update, stem cover. This lets you regenerate a specific stem in your project without touching anything else. Maybe you want the lead line to sound more electronic, or you want a different instrument for your chords. Let's extract stems from our song through clip settings. And here we are. The AI has split the track into stems. Vocals, backups, drums, bass, guitar, percussion, and synths. Now hear the vocal stem for a bit. Morning rises in golden hues Skies a canvas painted new That sounds pretty good. Just right click a stem and choose the cover option. And now we are going to make a cover from this stem. We know our original was reggae, so for the cover I'm going to type electronic, upbeat, synth. I will keep the audio influence at 60% and let's see what happens.
Whoa, that is awesome. Suno took our isolated vocal stem and built a brand new electronic interpretation around it. This is perfect for remixing, rebuilding ideas, or getting a lead part to sit better in your mix. Now here's a brand new feature introduced in this update. Loop recording and take lanes. This is perfect if you want to sing, rap, or add instruments. First, highlight a section of your timeline. Let's say a four bar chorus. Activate the loop icon, then hit record. Your selected section will loop over and over, and each pass gets saved automatically. Record five takes, 10 takes, whatever you want. Suno will keep all of them. When you're done, click the three dots on the track and select Show Take Lanes. Your track expands, and you'll see every recording stacked underneath. Version 1, version 2, version 3, and so on. Till 8th. You can audition them individually, or build a perfect performance by combining your favorite parts. This is a real DAO-style workflow inside your browser. Next, let's talk about the context window. At the top of your timeline, you'll notice two small blue handles. These let you define a specific section you want the AI to regenerate. Drag the handles around a transition, a drum fill, or a single bar in the middle of your song. Now, when you regenerate, Suno will ignore the intro, ignore the outro, and focus only on the section inside those handles. No more accidental changes to the parts you want to keep. It's precise, it's controlled, and it saves a ton of time. Next, the project library has been redesigned. When you go back to your dashboard, you'll notice the old list view is gone. It's now a clean, card-based visual layout that feels more like a folder system. You also get a search bar at the top so you can instantly find tracks by title. And finally, a performance upgrade. Multi-track exports are now 75% faster. This used to take up to two minutes for complex songs, but now it's significantly quicker. You can move from idea to finished project without losing momentum. All of these new features, the EQ, stem cover, loop recording, take lanes, context window, the redesigned project library, and faster multi-track exports show exactly where Suno is heading. This platform is evolving from a fun music toy into a serious production tool. You can shape your stems, record your vocals, regenerate specific parts, edit with precision, remix instantly, and export everything way faster than before. So jump into a project, try out these new tools, turn on the EQ, and start pushing your mixes further than ever. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives on Suno AI on my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.